Well, good morning. Good morning. You are Jason Ponder? I indeed, yes I am. And what do you do at IO and Iken? I am a partner at IO and Iken, a family law firm uh, all over Central Florida and uh, obviously on the West Coast also. And right now we're outdoors just outside the Orlando offices at IO and Iken, yes, is that right? on a beautiful morning, a nice cool breeze and uh, this is why we live in Florida. Very nice time of year. So what's going on lately? Anything interesting in your practice? Uh, yeah, we are extremely busy. Uh, a lot of exciting things going on, uh, not only in the practice, but in the law itself. Um, as recently as last week, we have some legislation that's going to fundamentally change, potentially, the law regarding Alabama. Okay, and what's going on? Uh, there is finally uh, some consensus with the legislature and potentially the governor that alimony and permanent alimony is about to be basically wiped out of the system. So we now are going to have situations where permanent alimony is something that's going to be a nullity and all other forms of alimony are going to come in, more formulaic in nature from, from what I can tell. All right, so let's step back a bit. Are you as an attorney on a certain side of that issue? I have always kind of felt that permanent alimony was something that needed to be reformed. Uh, I am on the side of, I think there needs to be a formula. I have a lot of people that come in to me, and, and one of the first questions they ask me, which can't be answered in its current state, is, well, how much am I looking to pay for alimony? Again, we do not have a formula for that, like child support. So it's, a lot, it's based on a lot of things that we can't have tangible uh, property and tangible documentation of, you know, whether it be the cost of living, whether it be the health insurance, you know, there's various factors the court can consider, but nothing right now statutorily that we can point to to come up with a calculation. So are you on the side of people getting alimony or not getting alimony specifically? I think all situations have a certain merit either way. So let me stop you right there. Are there people who certainly should get alimony? Absolutely. Are there certain people who should not pay alimony? I absolutely believe that also. Uh, you know, there are certain people that are capable uh, of supporting themselves without the need for something on a permanent basis. In fact, in some situations, I believe it's a crutch rather than a moving forward situation. All right. And is each side of your thought limited necessarily to male or female, whichever side of the issue they fall on? Absolutely not, because I've had male clients and female clients receive alimony and pay alimony. So I think it's, it's across the board a, a unity thing. So does alimony in some form still have a legitimate place in the state of Florida? I believe it does. And is it something that actually brings benefits to an entire situation. It absolutely can, but I do believe it needs to be limited. So I think the steps that have been taken now are putting us in that situation where it's becoming more fair, not only to the person receiving, but the person that's actually having to pay. There have been some comments or complaints that there are actually judges that are pro-alimony, some judges against alimony, some go down the middle. Is there that type of variety in Florida? If I have learned anything, uh, judges are different. Some judges prefer some things, some judges prefer others. You have to know the person you're in front of to know what side they, they uh, tend to, to, to lean on. I do believe there's bias, and I think it's inherent bias because we've done this for so long.